for the delay, sir, you're recognized. Thank you so much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I just first wanted to inquire with the chair if he would be so gracious. We are on HR 263, correct, Mr. Chairman? Yes, we are. And HR 263 is the big cat bill. Is that right, Mr. Chairman? Correct again. And we are on amendment number three from Mr. Graves, Mr. Chairman? Three for three. So I just wanted to, for the benefit of the American people who are watching this hearing, read what Amendment 3 actually says. It says, no provision of this act shall take effect if determined to result in an increased reliance on hostile foreign nations such as Iran, Venezuela, Saudi Arabia, or any organization of petroleum exporting countries, OPEC, member nations to meet US energy needs, including critical minerals, and rare earth elements as defined by the US Geological Survey. Mr. Chairman, if the prime sponsor of HR 263 would be so generous to yield, I'd like to ask Mr. Huffman, is there anything specifically in the big cat bill that's going to result in an increased reliance on hostile foreign nations? Uh, not a thing, no. Mr. San Nicolas, nor would this amendment do anything to address the inflation, gas prices, China, Hunter Biden laptop, or other uh, issues that we've heard all about in the performances so far today. Uh, th thank you, Mr. Huffman. I actually wanted to, if the gentleman would so yield, uh, pose that question to, to Mr. Graves. I wanted to ask him specifically, how much does he expect this amendment to lower gas prices? Because there's been, there's been a very passionate argument about the gas price issue on the big cat bill. And I'm curious how his specific amendment, how much does he expect this to lower gas prices if the gentleman will so yield? Yeah, he yielded. Man, you're all right. Hey, thank you. Um, thank you, Mr. San Nicholas. So, San, Mr. San Nicholas, uh, the, the Democrats control the agenda of this committee. The amendment's intent is to actually try to focus the agenda of this committee on the jurisdiction that is of the highest priority of the American people. Uh, look, your constituents, I guarantee you, I'd be willing to take a bet right now. My time, Mr. They Chairman, haven't, all, they haven't time, said we Mr. want Chairman. you to address big cats. They've said General they want Chairman, you to address prices. Gentleman reclaims his time. Mr. Chairman, the question is very specific if the gentleman still would like to yield. How much does he expect his amendment to lower gas prices in the big cap bill when the amendment reads no provision of this act shall take effect if it will result in an increased reliance on hostile foreign nations and the prime sponsor made it very plain that this bill doesn't do any of that then how does this this amendment specifically how much is he expecting this amendment to reduce gas prices in a big cap bill? does he have a, an amount or are we just going to have a whole another narrative Thank you, Mr. San Nicholas. I appreciate the yield. Uh, Mr. San Nicholas, how many constituents at town hall meetings have asked you to address big cats and how many have told you that they want you to address energy prices? We're trying to help Mr. you Chairman, focus my time, this committee's Mr. agenda in our jurisdiction time, on the priorities Chairman, of the American people. You're talking about big cats right now. I can't even believe you're doing this. Chairman, you're talking about big time. cats. Mr. Graves, the gentleman reclaimed his time. Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't realize that. Yeah, you heard it. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. So I just wanted to make it plain to the American people First and foremost, I think that my colleagues on, on the Democratic side of the aisle have been very gracious calling for all of us to work together. I think that that's something that we need to do. I think Mr. Huffman has been very gracious in, in calling for us to address the issue at hand. And I think that the points that have been made on both sides of the aisle are definitely points for all of us to consider and that the American people will agree to that. But let's be upfront with the American people that voting yes on this amendment will do nothing for gas prices. Voting no on this amendment will do nothing for gas prices. And this amendment has nothing to do with foreign nations because big cats have nothing to do with our reliance on foreign nations. So I think that the, the dialogue is, is very passionate. I think it's very relevant uh, in terms of what the American people are going through. But the actual, the actual amendment itself will do nothing for the issue at hand. So let's, let's move on. And let's just be upfront with the American people as we continue to entertain the remainder of these amendments as to whether or not it's actually going to accomplish the purposes that are intended in the opening narratives of these amendments, because this does nothing for gas prices. I mean, the mover of the amendment uh, can't give us a, a firm answer on whether or not the, the dollar amount is going to change. It's very plain that it won't. So I'd like to uh, uh, echo the, the sentiments of Mr. Huffman. Let's address the big cat legislation. If you don't like it, vote no. 
but let's not introduce amendments to make it seem like there's going to be a solution for the American people in here when there is none. Gentlemen. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Gentlemen, yields anyone else?